Okay, joining us on the line today is a current member of the Minnesota Vikings. This time of year, there's lots of talk about non-members of your team, whether it's free agency or draft prospects, but we wanted to catch up with one of our own, one of our current guys, and that is Vikings safety and special teams extraordinaire, J. Ron Curse. What's up, J. Ron? How you doing, man? Hey, how you doing, Wabi? I'm doing good. All right. What you been up to? Uh, down here in LA, uh, you know, enjoying some of this good weather, getting a couple workouts in, you know, uh, you know having a good time this offseason. Why don't you bring some of that good weather here to Minnesota? You know, we need it. <laughs> we definitely do. Hopefully, you know, by the time by the time the guys report back, hopefully we can get some of this good weather because uh, you know, I've been I've been seeing and been hearing about how it's been going there, so definitely not excited to get back to that weather but you know excited to get back to work yeah this is um this is an exciting time of the year j ron for nfl fans because they have free agency coming up on the horizon but i was thinking about you last week when the combine is going on in indianapolis because you participated in the combine when you were coming out and um and i want to i want to get some of your recollections some of your memories from that that time period in your life you're coming out of clemson you're going to try and make it in the nfl you get invited to the combine you're participating in all these drills and you know i'm thinking of you because these guys are getting timed and poked and prodded and analysts are telling everyone where these guys are going to go and how good they're going to be and you wind up being a seventh round pick of the vikings but you you're still playing you're three years in you've played in 47 games so I'm guessing that a lot of the analysts, you know, may have been wrong about you. But just walk us back to that that period of time for yourself, the combine, and what you were thinking as you were getting into the NFL. Uh, for me, uh, it was just like you know, coming out, coming out as a, you know, as a first team All American. You know, you hear all the good things. Uh, you know, oh, he's going to be a day one, day two pick. You know, then my time came. You know, the draft came, and you know, I end up going in the seventh the day three pick last round so you know it's just a it's just a, a crazy it was a, it's a good experience but mm-hmm. it's it's pretty it's pretty hectic you know uh just just from the time you have to wake up you know like you said being poked and proud on mm-hmm. and, you know it's a, it's a it's a lot going on during the combine that uh that many people don't don't really know about and understand you know uh all they see is the test they see the the, the 40 the vertical you know those types of things, but it's a lot that goes into it that a lot of people don't know about. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, for a lot of guys that I know, you know, it's guys that hear, you know, their draft stock is going to rise or fall. Uh, you know, for me, it was, it was just, it was just sort of, you know, let me get a foot in the door. You know, just, just let me get a chance to to get somewhere. And uh, you know, just so happened, uh, I got that phone call from the Vikings in the uh, seventh round. And, you know, like you said, I'm still here. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of seven round guys, you know, don't make it this far. Uh, so I already beat the odds on that. So now it's just ready for me taking the next step, taking the next step, and uh, you know, trying to see what the future holds for me. Yeah, when it was the Vikings who called at that point for you, did that surprise you based on how the pre-draft process went? Did it not surprise you? Were you hoping um, for any any of the teams? What was that that like when you did get that phone call from Rick Spielman? Uh, it really didn't surprise me much. It didn't surprise me much. Only thing surprised me through the whole through the whole draft process was, you know, how late I got that phone call. Mm-hmm. Uh, because uh, you know, just going through it, you hear about the teams that that's looking for you know your particular position. So you know, Vikings the Vikings were one of those teams. And, uh, you know, many thought many thought you know either day two or maybe fourth round. You know, and those two, those three rounds came by, and you know, I I haven't gotten that phone call. So, actually, getting that phone call from the Vikings was was one that you know I kind of I kind of expected it, uh, as far as one of the teams that I felt like would draft me mm-hmm. because you know just hearing teams that needed safety help at the time. So, but I wasn't too surprised when I got the phone call. But you know, from the Vikings, it was just about you know how late I got it. Yeah, you know, I was um. You know, I, w- I was looking back on your your combine profile page on NFL.com, and and on that page they have a bunch of stuff listed: height, weight, your forty time, your short shuttle, 
um, broad jump, high jump, all that stuff is listed on there. And then, then they have, you know, NFL.com's in-house scouts. They, they give strengths and weaknesses. And mm-hmm. I was thinking about the pass breakup you had in the end zone at the L.A. Coliseum this past season on Cooper Cup. Um, you remember that play? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And 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 the reason I thought of that when I was reading your scouting report is cuz in the weaknesses it said can, you know, can be can get beaten by shifty slot receivers. And I'm like, yeah, yeah not so much. I saw that PBU against Cooper Cup in the end zone. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, and that that's another thing with guys that's going through that's going through the combine, you know, and getting ready to take the next step from college to the pros. Uh, it's just about you know you got to put the blinders on. You can't really can't really focus on all on all the noise that's on the outside of people telling you what you're good at, what you're not good at. You know, because at the end of the day, you know when you get when you get on this level, you know you control your own destiny. You know if if you can play some football, you know you'll be somewhere playing football. And uh, you know it's just can't can't let can't let the little things on the outside you know steal you from the ultimate goal, and that's being a, a professional football player and playing at a high level. So. Uh, I definitely, you know, I've definitely heard it all, you know, mm-hmm. about what I can and can't do, and you know, I'm not good in open field, and you know, just things <laughs> like that. You know, yeah. I've, I've I've heard I've heard it all, you know, and uh, you know, those have been the things that I've tapped, you know, uh, and those have turned into the things that I'm real I'm really good at. So uh, it's just it's just about you know just coming in to work every day and uh, just having a goal in mind and not letting anybody you know get you off of what you have to do to achieve that goal. Yeah, and that's a perfect segue to the last question I had written down for you on my sheet. I had a goal for 2019. So um, what what have you thought about? I'm sure since since the 2018 season was over, J-Ron, and, and the team, you know, you all go your separate way, and then eventually you come back and start working together for 2019. But when you, when you think through it and where you're at in your career, and where you're at in this Vikings defense and on the Vikings special teams, what's a goal for you uh, for 2019? Really just just a personal goal for me is, uh, you know, just to come in. You know, I came in last year, you know, not having played much on defense, uh, having to use OTAs to show that, you know, I, I've, grew, I've grown as a player and I took that next step and I was able to do so and, uh, you know, touch the field more. Uh, you know, I just want to. I just want to come in and uh, you know show the coaches that you know, I, I've, I've worked my tail off this off season. I'm ready for a bigger role. You know, and uh, you know just just really being able to have a have a have a great opportunity to, to get on the playing field more and uh, show more things that I can do. And as far as special teams, uh, you know, I I fell I fell short last year of the of the Pro Bowl, so. You know, that's something that I'm trying to attack this year. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully can get my first one under my belt, you know, by making a lot of good plays on special teams, uh, you know, however it comes. But I just want to really take that next step in my game as far as having a bigger opportunity, having a bigger role on the defense and, you know, being able to, you know, take that next step and showing that, you know, I can be a, I can be a every down good football player. Awesome. I'm looking at my weather app on my phone right now, and uh, Egan, Minnesota, the forecast for tomorrow is 21, for Thursday is 19, Friday is 30. We're going to get above freezing on Saturday, so it'll be safe for you to come back, I think, next week. We should be above freezing, okay? (laughs) Yeah, sounds good, sounds good. All right, man. We appreciate your time. Go get a workout in, stay healthy, and we'll see you when you get back to town, okay, J-Ron? All right, thanks, Bobby. Appreciate you having me. You bet, man. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.